Let me clear the air on this too, cause I've been seeing this too much. Man, on my heart, on my head, and on my daughter, I have never shot at no pregnant lady. Don't even, don't even put that on my jacket, cause I see it too much. And it's like y'all get stuff misconstrued because y'all don't really know what's, what's really going on. The situation that they saying I shot at somebody is some shit that happened a whole long ass time ago. I have never shot at no pregnant woman. I have never shot in no house that my daughter was at. And I have never put my hands on no woman. I have never closed fist attacked any woman a day in my life. And that's on God himself because that's on everything I love, bro. Ain't nobody ever did that, man. That out, I'm gonna say that. Ain't nobody else did that. Third thing, man, it was, man, I'm, I'm missing something, man. It's, it's just so much. Like, I'm just trying to get it all out the best way I can, you know what I'm saying? And at the end of the day, bro, just, just let it be what it be, man. This stuff right here, bro, this, you know what I'm saying, man. No man, no way, shape, or form. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to let God do what he do. I'm going to let him work the situation out the best as he can. But, like, stop playing with my name, bro. Like, ain't nobody ever shot no house up with my daughter. And uh, you saying I shot my house up, but the affidavit said it was no shells found on the ground. It was no bullets in the house. How the fuck I shoot a house up? You saying I hit you, I did you, I assaulted you, but you ain't have not one bruise on you, bro. Like, how the fuck did I assault you? Where's your, where your bruises? You would have been posted your bruises. Am I lying? Now, if I assaulted somebody, you would have been, you would have had a busted lip or some, some, cause I don't, I don't swing, I don't, I don't swing softly. Like, come on, bro, you would have had some. If anything, I was the only person scarred up that day, bro. I'm the one that, I'm the one that got assaulted. Goddamn it. I'm the one left out that house with scars on my, on my fucking back. You know what I'm saying? Lip fucked up. I'm the one. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ever did that, bro. What the fuck? Nobody ever shot at no pregnant woman, bro. Like, what? Y'all be painting this narrative on me and, like, I'm, I'm so sick of that shit, man. Painted on my jacket. Like, that ain't, that ain't chopped, bro. I don't, I don't, man, what? No. 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 And then people bringing my mama into this. Like, of course, my mom gonna feel some type of way if you inviting me to see my daughter and and you saying she can't come or my brother can't come. Like, what you mean? They ain't seen that girl, bro. My this is my grandparents' first time seeing them today, and that's only cause that's only cause my grandpa been getting sick, bro. And like my grandma, she getting older at the same time. Like they getting older, like. If it wasn't for today, because if it wasn't for the Breakfast Club previewing my son, I don't think that, I don't, I ain't know when my grandparents are going to see her. You know what I'm saying? I, and I hate to do shit like this, and I know it's Clover birthday, and I hate to do shit like that, like this. And I ain't even on no attention, attention seeking shit. I'm just trying to let, you know what I'm saying, set the fucking record straight. Like, bro, stop playing with me. Like, that ain't what it is. Like, it, it's nowhere near with the picture that's painted. Like, it's nowhere near that. Like that's why, man. It's nowhere near that. In no way, shape, form. It's no way. It's nowhere near. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah, and then you, and then let me address this part too. So if everybody listen, I need everybody to listen. G, you don't, you don't send no DNA test to nobody house. If the bro, you do not send no damn DNA test to send one, and then you get put on child support. You have to file child support. And the court orders you to take a DNA test. Your attorneys order you to take a DNA test. Just in case. Just in case. Like, I knew 100% Clover was mine. Only reason why I took a DNA test because my attorney ordered me to. The court ordered to. Ordered us to. So you won't be paying child support for a child that ain't yours. talking about i sent you i sent the DNA. why the fuck would i send the dna test to your house and i don't even be with my i didn't see i wasn't with my daughter what i look like what i look like sitting let me make sure it's mine even though i ain't seeing her that don't even make sense bro that doesn't make sense how the fuck do you send a dna test to somebody 
And you not even with the little girl. You, The daughter is not with you. The daughter is in your possession. Why would I send a DNA test? And what's crazy though, because like, what's really crazy is I still got the text message of her saying before my baby even came out, I still got the text message of her telling me she was going to do all this before this shit happened. But I'm the bad guy. This premeditated murder right here. Huh? This premeditated. I still got the text message of a motherfucker telling me that they was going to block my number. They was going to change their address. They was going to block my whole, make sure my whole, her whole family blocked my family. Like, bro, like this shit was premeditated, bro. And like for people to side with some toxic ass shit like that. Even, even, even on top of the false ass allegations, bro. Even if that shit was true, bro. For you to side with some shit like that, bro. That shit is disgusting, bro. And like, you don't know what life is. That shit is disgusting, bro. This is my first time seeing my daughter today, man. My first time since fucking around this time next week. Next week around this time was the last time I seen my baby girl. Today, I finally got a chance to see her. And like I said, I'm going to keep saying it because of the Breakfast Club. June 18th is when that song aired. June 18th is when I got the goddamn um, invitation. Not no month ago, not no few weeks ago. If I would have had that invitation a month ago, a few weeks ago, you would have never even probably sing that song. I swear to God. No, it ain't even no problem. You would have never sing that song. Because it would have been unnecessary. Would have never sing that song. June 18th, Breakfast Club posted half of my song. June 18th is when I got the invitation. I ain't gonna lie, y'all smart as hell. Y'all know how to make a motherfucker look like the bad guy. Y'all know how to, y'all know how to do that. I can't give you that. Y'all are smart as a motherfucker. Like, damn, y'all smart. If I was in your shoes, I would have damn did the same thing to make myself look good. But I'm coming here. I'm, I'm tired. I'm not, cause, cause people know. People know I'm not going to want to say nothing. People know I'm not going to want to clear no air because I don't do no social media. I don't do no talking because I don't do none of that. People knew it was going to come. You you knew I wasn't going to want to address it, so I'm going to just go and address it. Since you knew I didn't want to, I'm going to go and do it. You know what I'm saying? June 18th, I got an invitation. Friday. Today is Sunday. Song was already turned in before that. And even if and even if I coulda coulda told them, nah, let's not drop it, it would've never happened. Cause guess what? I got that shit the same day that you heard that song. You was just trying to stay two steps ahead. Which you did. You did. You stayed two steps ahead for sure. You for sure did it. You stayed two steps ahead. But I'm coming here to let y'all know. And if y'all wanna, y'all can look at this live when we done. Y'all can go back and see the invitation I got June 18th. And y'all can go ask DJ Envy the whole Breakfast Club when they played that song. Why I'm trying to look like the bad guy. Why I'm the bad guy. You know what I'm saying? And it's sick and then broke because, like, it don't matter how much I plead and ask, like, damn, it's coming to something, fool. It, it ain't that. It's let the courts, it's let the courts handle this and let the court, the court gonna handle it. When at the same time, you know damn well because of COVID, all these courts been pushed back. So by the time we get a final agreement on something, bro, even with, even, Bro, I got two cases. I got a felony charge that she put against me that she lied. Uh, she lied on me. I can damn... I can, man, if a motherfucker got a lie detector test right here, pull up on me with a lie detector test, man. Right hand to God himself, bro. Ain't nobody put my hands on no woman. Ain't nobody shoot at nobody's house with my daughter inside. That don't even make sense, bro. What type of dumbass doing shit like that? And if it did happen, why it wasn't no 762 shells on the ground? Why was there no bullets in the house? Why nobody got shot? Because I don't do attempts. The fuck? Man, like I said, bro. And at the end of the day, y'all, don't think I'm ever mad. Like, don't ever think I'm mad. Don't. <laughs> I know I just probably got a little heated, but at the end of the day, y'all, I'm blessed. Life is great. Life has been amazing to me. I have a beautiful daughter. 
I seen her today. Everything is going well for me. I can't say a bad thing that's going bad for me because at the end of the day, I know that it's supposed to happen. It's growth in me into something bigger and better. You know what I'm saying? It's maturing me. It's helping me learn. I'm so glad I went through this situation, and I'm so glad I'm still going through it. It's an unfortunate situation, but guess what, bro? Better, better right now than, than, than later. You hear me? I want to learn this shit young, cause I got a long ass life ahead of me. So I want to keep learning this shit young. I want to keep going through this stuff young. I want to keep seeing these lessons. I want to keep. I want to keep going through these lessons, bro. And I'm blessed for every lesson, cause every. Every every situation I've been in, shit could have been worse. That's how I look at shit. I'm beyond grateful for what I got. I'm beyond grateful that I'm going to court. I'm beyond grateful that I'm getting shit straight. I'm beyond grateful, bro. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to still smile. And I'm going to still hold my head high. And whatever, whatever a motherfucker do to break me, it won't work. Because I love my damn self. I love myself. Only people that don't.